eight-year-old with a history of funky heart rhythms and her own internal defibrillator. She's alert, but dizzy and pale. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cheat sheets. Remember, whatever you're using, whether it's Brazzle tape or hand heavy, red goes to the head and measure to the heel. And you can see clearly this child falls into the zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So if you've got a child or an adult back at the rig or the hospital, they have a cardiac history, but more importantly, you look down and they also have a medic alert bracelet that says, hi, I have my own AICD. And AICD, remember, is an automatic implantable cardioverter defibrillator. That's a way too fancy way of saying that somewhere inside of their chest, they've got their own internal defibrillator. So why that's important is when we've got kids or big people with these nasty heart rhythms, to no surprise, they try drugs first. But if either A, the drugs don't cut it, or B, depending on what happened before this, they get drugs and very shortly thereafter, they get their own internal defibrillator placed as well. So with that in mind, what this really comes down to is simple. If you have somebody sitting in your ER, you are doing your assessment, their eyes roll back in their head, they look gray, you look up at the monitor and you see V-fib should you shock them? And the answer is called yes. Should you wait for their own defibrillator to kick in and shock them is called no. Because simply, if it could have shocked them, it would have shocked them. For whatever reason, it didn't shock them. They're still in V-fib, therefore shock them. What this comes down to in real life is simple. If you're seeing V-fib, whatever's inside of them is not doing the job. So realistically, by the time, number one, you see V-fib up on the monitor. Number two, you're able to run across and grab the defibrillator, put the pads or paddles on their chest. If you are still seeing V-fib, you've more than given enough time for their own internal defibrillator to do what it needs to do. And if by that point they're still in V-fib, shock them.